Hey guys, this is Tanya from Adrill Finds and I'm gonna take you guys sourcing with me to Ross today. I've been sourcing Ross pretty frequently recently and it's because it has the best products right now that you could resell on Amazon. TJ Maxx, Marshalls, and Burlington have just not been doing it for me lately and that's why you guys haven't been seeing a lot of those videos. Throughout this video, you're gonna see Selleram screenshots pop up on the screen with my cost and net profit per item. You'll also have me popping in and out of the wow. video to explain certain purchases or items that I passed on. I only had 45 minutes to shop today, so stay tuned until the end to see how much I made within those 45 minutes. After scanning this backpack with Celeramp, I passed on it. It cost too much and I made no profit at all. Next, I moved on to the men's athletic apparel. There was a few promising items, but I decided to only purchase one sweater at the end of it. I came across this orange Adidas sweater and I stopped because of the feel of the fabric. The quality was there. MSRP was 85, buy cost was 24.99. I ended up passing on this because I would be losing money if I were to send it into Amazon. I stopped and scanned the sweater because of the feel of it. It was very heavy. The fabric was really nice. It was also on clearance for $19.99 with an MSRP of $65. And after scanning it, I found that this would be giving me a total net profit of $23.33. So I definitely ended up picking this up. The next section I went to is the sports equipment section. I scanned these shin guards size medium and they were giving me a profit of $1.88 so I passed on those. And there was a ton of Nike items like this mouth guard and there was a ton of gloves. They all seemed to be very promising but when I scanned them with Seller Amp they just either weren't on Amazon or they weren't giving me a good enough profit. Check out these gloves that I found, but didn't end up purchasing them. They didn't have the Nike packaging and they were also dirty. I would have made $22 on this, but sadly I had to pass on them. But if you see them out in the wild, definitely grab them. Let me know if you found these or if you sold these on Amazon before. So I have to leave them behind, unfortunately. These aren't. These blue gloves also looked very promising, but when I scanned them, I couldn't find them on Amazon. They did not have an Amazon listing, so I had to pass on them. Luckily, as I was working my way down the aisle, I ended up finding three of these Nike um, ankle sleeves. I've picked these up in the past, and these are going to give me a net profit of $10.61 each. So I grabbed all three of them. And let me tell you guys, they have a ton of stuff for Christmas, which is awesome because we get to source new products. I came across more shin guards and these were like the first ones that I scanned, except these are size large. These will end up giving me a total profit of $5.10 with an 85% return on investment. So I definitely grabbed both of the size largest that I found.
in the winter section, I found these North Face gloves. I found these in the past and these are gonna net me $11.94, so I definitely grabbed those. Ross has a ton of toys, especially right now because it's Christmas. They pretty much have all of their toy section all stocked up, plus the random toy tables that they have throughout the store, which is awesome. I came straight to the Funko Pop section since I've been hearing that people have been finding pretty valuable pops. I only ended up finding one valuable one and it's this Beth from Yellowstone's Funko Pop. With the $5 buy cost, this is gonna give me a net profit of $6.36. So I definitely grabbed that one. I also found these Nerf squeak sticks. Pro tip, always scan the dog Nerf toys. You'll thank me later. As I was going back to try to see if I could find more of the squeak sticks, I did find one more, except it was in the blue color. And for the life of me, I could not find an Amazon listing, so I had to put that one back. I made my way to the beauty section, and in the beauty section, I found a great bolo for you guys. I found these Aveeno Clear Complexion Cleansing Pads. I'm buying these for $5.99 each, and these will give me a net profit of almost $30 a pop. Let me know in the comment section if you end up finding these. All right, guys, so I also picked this up, and I realized that I didn't get any footage of it in store. Um but I picked up this Neutrogena Pore Refining Toner, an 8.5 ounce, and it was only $3.99, but these are selling on Amazon for like $18.99, 20 bucks each, or a little bit higher depending on when we scan them. For a set of three, I'm gonna go ahead and put the um, Seller Amp screenshot right here. And then for the set of, or excuse me, just for one, I'll put the screenshot right there. I only found two, so I'm only going to send in individual ones, um, which is a bummer because I think I'll get more if I send in the pack of three, but totally fine. Hey guys, thank you for sticking till the end of the video. This was a quick like 30 to 40 minute trip. We made roughly around $182 and that wasn't even counting the other stores that we've went to that day. And if you guys are curious about what I use to scan in the store, I use Seller Amp. It literally is the best Amazon scanning tool there is. I've used other apps and honestly, Seller Amp has the best user-friendly interface. It integrates Keepa information um, so seamlessly into its app and into the scanning software that they have. If you are not scanning with Seller Amp, go ahead and check the link in the description down below so you can um, get started. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. Until next time, guys, happy hunting.